Lecture 15. Essay Writing Research Paper. Foreign Language to Foreign Languages. Learning Objectives. To identify cause and effect essay. To distinguish comparison contrast essay. To distinguish an argumentative essay. To study research paper. Plan. Cause and effect essay. Comparison contrast essay. An argumentative essay, problem and solution essay, research paper. The purpose of an essay will determine its structure and format. The way you approach an informative essay, for instance, is going to be different from how you choose to write an argumentative essay. Sometimes called reason and result essays, cause and effect essays examine an event or situation. They explore how this event or situation came into being, the cause and what is happening because of this event or situation, the effect. In other words, the purpose of these types of essays is to explore the why or how of a situation. A basic cause and effect essay structure would look like this. First, introduction. Describe the event or situation your essay will explore. Include your thesis statement, which may focus on what you think is the main cause or effect of the event or situation. Second, body paragraph. Causes. Start with what you feel is the main cause of the event, providing evidence to back up your argument. Then follow with describing secondary causes. Third, Body paragraphs effects just as with the causes here you start with biggest or most important effect of the situation. Again provide evidence to back up your argument. Subsequent paragraphs can then discuss other effects worth nothing. Fourth conclusion. Reiterate your third statement and summarize the main points of your essay showing how they support your thesis. Alternatively, you may choose to discuss the effect before you talk about the causes. It depends on argument you are trying to make or where you'd like to place greater emphasis. If you want to focus more on the causes, that section can be larger than the section on effects, for example. Either approach is acceptable as long as your essay flows naturally. Cause and effect essay. Examples of this type of essay include questions which ask you to state or investigate the effects or outline the causes of the topic. This may be, for example, a historical event, the implementation of a policy, a medical condition or a natural disaster. These essays may be structured in one or two ways. Either the causes of a situation may be discussed first followed by the effects, or the effects could come first with the discussion working back to outline the cause. Sometimes, with cause and effect essay, you are required to give an assessment of the overall effects, such as a community, a workplace, or individual. Space must be allocated for this assessment in your structure if needed. Argumentative essays What is an argumentative essay? The argumentative essay is a genre of writing that requires the student to investigate a topic, collect, generate and evaluate evidence and establish a position on the topic in a concise manner. Please note some confusion may occur between the argumentative essay and the expository essay. These two genres are similar, but the argumentative essay differs from the expository essay in the amount of pre-writing and research involved. The argumentative essay is commonly assigned as a capstone of final project in first-year writing or advanced composition courses and involves detailed research. Expository essays involve less research and are shorter in length. Expository essays are often used for in-class writing exercises or tests, such as the GED or GRE. Argumentative essay assignments generally call for extensive research of literature or previously published material. Argumentative assignments may also require empirical research where the students collect 
that through interviews, surveys, observations or experiments. Detailed research allows the student to learn about the topic and to understand different points of view regarding the topic so that she or he may choose a position and support it with the evidence collected during research. Regardless of the amount or type of research involved, argumentative essays must establish a clear theory and follow sound reasoning. The structure of the argumentative essay is held together by the following. A clear, concise and defined theory statement that occurs in the first paragraph of the essay. In the first paragraph of an argument essay, students should set the context by reviewing the topic in a general way. Next, the author should explain why the topic is important or why readers should care about the issue. Lastly, students should present the thesis statement. It is essential that this thesis statement be appropriately narrowed to follow the guidelines set forth in the assignment. If the student does not master this portion of the essay, it will be quite difficult to compose an effective or persuasive essay. Clear and logical transitions between the introduction, body and conclusion. Transitions are the motor that holds the foundation of the essay together. Without logical progression of thought, the reader is unable to follow the essay's argument and the structure will collapse. Transitions should wrap up the idea from the previous section and introduce the idea that is to follow in the next section. Body paragraphs that include evidential support. Each paragraph should be limited to the discussion of the general idea. This will allow for clarity and direction throughout the essay. In addition, such conciseness creates an ease of readability for one's audience. It is important to note that each paragraph in the body of the essay must have some logical connection to the thesis statement in the opening paragraph. Some paragraphs will directly support the thesis statement with evidence collected during research. It is also important to explain how and why the evidence supports the thesis warrant. However, argumentative essays should also consider and explain differing points of view regarding the topic. Depending on the length of the assignment, students should dedicate one or two paragraphs of an argumentative essay to discussing conflicting opinions on the topic. Rather than explaining how these differing opinions are wrong outright, students should note how opinions that do not align with their thesis might not be well informed or how they might be out of date. Evidential support, whether factual, logical, statistical or anecdotal. The argumentative essay requires well-researched, accurate, detailed and current information to support the thesis statement and consider other points of view. Some factual, logical, statistical or anecdotal evidence should support the thesis. However, students must consider multiple points of view when collecting evidence. As noted in the paragraph above, a successful and well-rounded argumentative essay will also discuss opinions not aligning with the thesis. It is unethical to exclude evidence that may not support the thesis. It is not the student's job to point out how other positions are wrong outright, but rather to explain how other positions may not be well informed or up to date on the topic. A conclusion that does not simply restate the thesis but readdresses it in light of the evidence provided. It is at this point of the essay that students may begin to struggle. This is the portion of the essay that will leave the most immediate impression on the mind of the reader. Therefore, it must be effective and logical. Do not introduce any new information into the conclusion. Rather, Synthesize the information presented in the body of the essay. Restate why the topic is important. Review the main points and review your theories. 
you may also want to include a short discussion of more research that should be completed in light of your work. A concrete argument. Perhaps it is helpful to think of an essay in terms of a conversation or debate with a classmate. If I were to discuss the cause of World War II and its current effect on those who lived through the tumultuous time, there would be a beginning, middle and end to the conversation. In fact, if I were to end the argument in the middle of my second point, questions would arise concerning the current effects on those who lived through the conflict. Therefore, the argumentative essay must be complete and logically so, leaving no doubt as to its intent or argument. The five paragraph essay. A common method for writing an argumentative essay is the five paragraph approach. This is, however, by no means the only formula for writing such essays. If it sounds straightforward, that is because it is, in fact, the method consists of an introductory paragraph, three evidentiary body paragraphs that may include discussion of opposing views and a conclusion. Longer argumentative essays. Complex issues and detailed research call for complex and detailed essays. Argumentative essays discussing a number of research sources of empirical research will most certainly be longer than five paragraphs. Authors may have to discuss the context surrounding the topic, sources of information and their credibility, as well as a number of different opinions on the issue before concluding the essay. Many of these factors will be determined by the assignment. The purpose of compare-contrast in writing. Comparison in writing discusses elements that are similar, while contrast in writing discusses elements that are different. A compare and contrast essay then analyzes two subjects by comparing them, contrasting them or both. The key to a good compare and contrast essay is to choose two or more subjects that connect in a meaningful way. The purpose of conducting the comparison or contrast is not to state the obvious but rather to eliminate subtle differences or unexpected similarities. For example, if you wanted to focus on contrasting two subjects, you would not pick apples and oranges. Rather, you might choose to compare and contrast two types of oranges or two types of apples to highlight subtle differences. For example, Red delicious apples are sweet, while Granny Smiths are tart and acidic. Drawing distinctions between elements in a similar category will increase the audience's understanding of that category, which is the purpose of the compare and contrast essay. Similarly, to focus on comparison, choose two subjects that seem at first to be unrelated. For a comparison essay, you likely would not choose two apples or two oranges because they share so many of the same properties already. Rather, you might try to compare how apples and oranges are quite similar. The more divergent the two subjects initially seem, the more interesting a comparison essay will be. The structure of comparer contrast essay. The compare and contrast essay starts with a thesis that clearly states the two subjects that are to be compared, contrasted or both, and the reason for doing so. Remember, the point of comparing and contrasting is to provide useful knowledge to the reader. Take the following thesis as an example that leans more toward contrasting. Thesis statement. Organic vegetables may cost more than those that are conventionally grown but when put to the test, they are definitely worth every extra penny. Here the thesis sets up the two subjects to be compared and contrasted. And it makes a claim about the results that might prove useful to the leader. You may organize compare and contrast essays in one of the following two ways. 
according to the subjects themselves, discussing one than the other, according to individual points, discussing each subject in relation to each point. The organizational structure you choose depends on the nature of the topic, your purpose and your audience. Given that compare and contrast essays analyze the relationship between two subjects, it is helpful to, to have some phrases on hand that will cue to the reader to such analysis. Phrases of comparison and contrast Comparison One similarity, another similarity, both like, likewise, similarly, in a similar fashion. Contrast, one difference, another difference, in contrast, unlike, while, various. Writing a compare-contrast essay. First choose whether you want to compare. Similarly, disparate subjects, contrast seemingly similar subjects or compare and contrast subjects. Once you have decided on a topic, introduce it with an engaging opening paragraph. Your thesis should come at the end of the introduction and it should establish the subjects you will compare, contrast or both as well as state what can be learned from doing so. The body of the essay can be organized in one of the two ways. By subject or by individual points, the organizing strategy that you choose will depend on, as always, your audience and your purpose. You may also consider your particular approach to the subjects as well as the nature of the subjects themselves. Some subjects might better lend themselves to one structure or the other. Make sure to use comparison and contrast phrases to cue the reader to the ways in which you are analyzing the relationship between the subjects. After you finish analyzing the subjects, write a conclusion that summarizes the main points of the essay and reinforces your thesis. Comparative essay. Examples of this type of essay include compare, compare and contrast of differentiate questions. In this structure, the similarities end or differences between two or more items. For example, theories or models are discussed paragraph by paragraph. Your assignment task may require you to make a recommendation about the suitability of the items you are comparing. Argumentative essay. Examples of this type of essay include questions which ask you to take a position on a topic such as a particular decision or policy and present arguments which support your position. An effective way to argue a point can be to present the opposing view first and counter this view with stronger evidence. Interpretive essay. Examples of this type of essay include assignments where you are given data such as a case study or scenario, a diagram, graphical information, or a picture and expected to interpret the information to demonstrate your application of knowledge when answering the task. Based on this data, you may be asked to do a range of things such as provide recommendations or solutions, develop a nursing care plan, a teaching plan, suggest legal advice or plan a marketing strategy. Problem and Solution Essay This essay questions often require you to structure your answer in several parts. An example may be to ask you to investigate a problem or explore a range of solutions. You may also be asked to choose the best solution and justify your selection so allow space for this in your essay if needed. A research paper is a piece of academic writing that provides analysis, interpretation and argument based on in-depth independent research. 
Research papers are similar to academic essays, but they are usually longer and more detailed assignments designed to assess not only your writing skills, but also your skills in scholarly research. Writing a research paper requires you to demonstrate a strong knowledge of your topic, engage with a variety of sources, and make an original contribution to the debate. The step-by-step -step guide takes you through the entire writing process, from understanding your assignment to proofreading your final draft. First, understand the assignment. Second, choose a research paper topic. Third, conduct preliminary research. Develop a thesis statement. Fifth, create a research paper outline. Sixth, write the first draft on the research paper. Paragraph structure. So what is research paper? As this name suggests, it is a kind of research. You have to do researching, critical thinking, evaluation of source, composition and organizing all. When you make a research paper, you should be very careful. When you collect the information from various sources, you come in contact with already made researches. You have to read those researches thoroughly. Find out what suits your topic and you have to analyze it to avoid blunders property. References are an important section for the research paper as you would have considered one of the already published papers to identify the shortcomings in that research or you would have clubbed a process of one outcome with another process and identify the net outcome. So it is important to quote the research articles in your paper wherever necessary. So these are questions you have to answer. Sources you have to use in order to prepare for practical lessons.